What is up guys, Dylan Ryan here, bringing you another episode of Dylan's Adventure Craft. Hope you guys are having a mindtastic day today. I am having a great day. Um, hope you like the little intro there with the cut clips of putting up another building over here at uh, Villager Island. Let me fly around here so you can see. So we got a few buildings up, but this is our newest one here. Um, we also got the farm, and then we've got that over there that leads down underground. So this place is coming together. This is one of our older projects, so I figured we might as well come out here and at least build one house, right? So um, this is kind of the house. Everything is random. That's kind of the uh, design that we're going with here. I decided to put a bush back there in the back. I think that looks pretty good. We got some wheat growing in the front. We come inside. Then we've got some paintings um, on the walls. And then we've got a sword here just in case someone's got a fight. Got a bed and also a little opening for a window there. Got a little plant here. Um, you can always also put this down if the villager doesn't need that and then we can also use the furnace let's put some stuff in here to make it look good there we go then we've also got a brewing stand and a stone cutter and a armor stand so this place is looking pretty good pretty small house not as big as some of the other ones but i think it looks great and it's going very well with what we've got going on over here in this area all right guys we are back at the mega base here our awesome base and what i'm wanting to do now is actually something a little bit different than we've done previously i know we've really been working on this place we haven't worked on it a whole lot in the last few episodes but i do want to start putting some stuff in here so we've got these walkways that lead to other places like this right here and then we've also got one over here that leads up to the top so we'll have something there all right so um now i want i'm wanting to put something oh let's actually fix it dadgummit give me that block <laughs> there we go um i'm actually wanting to put something in here that's just like a cool little little thing to have so i don't know if i'm gonna put it right here i might actually put it over on the other side i'm not sure just yet we will see i've got to get some blocks together we're either putting it there or we're going to put it like over here somewhere i don't know we'll have to kind of work with some of the room that we got here but let me go ahead and get some items together and we're going to be building something a little bit different over here in the new part of our base there we go so we've got our system in now you might be wondering what kind of system is this N nothing too crazy fairly simple but i made this machine here for when we step on the pressure plate it's going to give us a piece of paper and in that or on that piece of paper it's going to have some kind of quote or something you know to make you feel good some kind of like uh feel good message i guess you could say that's what I'm wanting to do here. So every time we come in or we come this way and be like, oh, let's get a let's get a feel good message. And then we'll step on that. We'll read what it says and we'll put it back in. So I got 32 pieces of paper in there right now. Um, you should be able to see. Yeah, 32 pieces of paper right there. We need to go through and put different quotes on these different sayings and stuff just to um, have them all uh, different different variety and we're using droppers so it should randomize it a little bit and i can maybe kind of show you this so um let me come back around here so we got the chest with a hopper underneath it and then we've got this pressure plate and there's a dropper or a dispenser on the pressure plate and then a dropper under it so what happens is when we put the paper in it goes into the chest which is under this block here goes into the hoppers, goes into this dropper here, shoots that down to this next dropper, and then goes into uh, the hopper here and sends it back around to this dropper. And then we've just got um, some comparators here sending some signals whenever a block is uh, detected in that dropper. So fairly simple design there, nothing too crazy. We've got a little bit of redstone here, but I actually was going to plan on filling this in just a little bit, so we should be good there. Um, but now I need to go in here, take all of this paper, and we need to put some quotes on it. And that way, uh, whenever we step on one, we can get a different quote every time.
all right guys we got this thing all set up i put some uh feel good stuff in there but i also put some like quotes and some uh like good ideas type of things in here we've got 32 in here as you can see they're filled up so we've got nine there we've got nine more there that's 18 23 28 29 30 31 32 so there we go we got plenty in there let's go ahead and get one and see what it gives us we got i love you <laughs> how perfect how perfect all right so we can throw that back in the chest and that should end up going back into here which it did perfect all right so there is our quote machine i guess we're going to call it yeah, let's put a sign up for that thing. Let's put a sign up. I'm going to go grab a sign, grab a uh, glowing ink sack, and also some kind of uh, dye, I guess. And then we are going to put up a sign there. And there we go. The feel good machine. Heck yes. We got that up. Everything is good there. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. The one more thing that I wanted to do for this episode is actually right here. I want to try to get this room up, um, get it enclosed, and then I'm, I'm, I'll have stairs that come around. And then we're also going to have some kind of centerpiece. I don't know how that's going to work with this right here. I guess we'll figure that out once that comes, but if we do have a centerpiece and that is in the center, so be it. That is fine. We will adjust it to make sure that um, everything works and everything looks good. So I'm going to have to go get a whole bunch of blackstone. Um, I may have some. Yeah, I've got a little bit. Most of these are slabs, though, so I'm definitely going to have to go out and get some more of uh, the black stone. So I'm going to have to um, go get some of that, get all of that together, and then we can start building up the walls for that first room up there. I really wanted to start working on the base because we really haven't done much with it in um, a good bit of episodes. So I think it would be cool to go ahead and start getting the base done upstairs because we've got so much to do in this base and we're not working on it. So I would like to go ahead and get started up there. So let me go and get a heck of a lot of black stone and then we're going to come and fill in that room and then put some sort of centerpiece up if we can. It all depends on the beacons, and we'll also put in the stairs. It's not as big as I thought it would be, but it will definitely do. I mean, it's a pretty good size area. Look at that block I messed up there. What the heck? Where are you at? There you are. <laughs> we got to get in there and fix that. We got to get in there and fix that. <clears throat> there we go. Got it. All right. So I've got this whole area closed in here. We did have a little overlap there. That is fine. Um, and then that is the outside wall there. So we'll have to be careful there. But I think what I might do is bring this in a little. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. We might not even design that wall. I'm not sure yet. What I want to do, though, is I need to get some um, elevation here and bring some stairs down in a few different areas. And then from this block to this block over here in a square, only did the, the diagonals, but in a square, there's going to be um, some sort of centerpiece that goes all the way to the ceiling. I'm not quite sure what we're going to put in there just yet, but I would like to get some of the decorations and some of the foundation for the stairs and the walkways and stuff done today. So I do have a good bit of materials here. We're going for the blue-green uh, kind of look here in this room. We're going to switch it up just a little bit. So uh, just sit back. I'm going to go through here and add in a bunch of these details, and then we'll come back through, check it out, and we'll wrap it up from there. All right, guys, we are finishing up the uh, bottom section of this anyway, the walk around section. There we go. So I'm really liking this design. I think it looks really good. Hopefully you guys agree. But we're using some dark oak fences on top of some of the polished black stone stairs. And then we've got some sea lanterns with some cyan glass. And then we're using cyan wool to wrap around. And then we've got like a little area here where we can get onto the first like level one step up and then it comes up again. I really like that. It gives it some depth, some texture. Then over here obviously is our entrance and then the same thing happens over here. It happens over there and it happens over here. And then we've got walkways that come down in the corners and in the middles that leads to our centerpiece here. 
And then we've also got some hidden lighting under some of the wool so we don't have to have any torches. But yeah, I think this thing's looking really good. We're using the dark prismarine and the cut, cut sandstone slabs on top. Those go really well together. Um, but I think this place is looking awesome. We have a little bit of an overlap here. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. Um, but now what we want to do to wrap up the episode is we want to build the centerpiece up. And what we're going to do is just build it up with some cyan stained glass and use this as the wraparound go all the way up to the top. And then we're going to end up taking some more of the black stone, polished black stone brick stairs and put those surrounding the top as well, like we've got down here on the bottom. And, um, actually, yeah, we'll go this way. We'll do that. Break that piece of glass there. Pick that one up. And then we will jump up out of here. Place those back. And there we go. So we've got our centerpiece in here. This thing might be too big. I don't know. Um, but this, this room's looking awesome. This room is coming together. We've got pretty much everything on the bottom floor done. Um, I do want to maybe do a little bit of decorations on the wall. I don't know. We'll see. Because, like, yeah, we don't have a whole, whole lot of room. The only wall we have room on is this one over here. This right here, um, we have a little bit of room. Yeah, we do have room on this one. But that wall over there that wall and this wall are all straight um either to the outside or have no room at all so um we may just leave the walls like this i don't know we will see maybe you guys can let me know down in the comment section what if if you've got any ideas but today we got this whole room done here um sorry it took me so long to get this episode done i actually ended up having some classes and a test that i had to take for my full-time job but we got this up. Everything's looking good there. We got the feel good machine. This is a new day for me. So let's see what we get. And we got, don't worry, everything works out. <laughs> there we go. All right, we'll put that up. So this is coming together. I think we're going to start working on the base a little bit more just because I do want to get some of this stuff um, filled in. We've got so much room in our base. I mean, all of this over here needs to be filled out. I mean, that big room that you saw the inside of, that's the size of it right there. <laughs> and we can do so many more of those. So um, we've got we got a bunch of stuff in the future that needs to be done here at the base. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. But guys, that is going to do it for me in this episode. I really do hope you enjoyed. Also, guys, I've got to say we hit over 500 subscribers. Woo! That is awesome. Thank you guys so much. Your, you guys' support has just been out of this world. And um, just keep it up. You guys are amazing. Um, and I love having every one of you here watching these videos, playing these videos with me. Um, but guys, like I said, that's going to do it. Please just leave a like if you liked the episode. And also, if you're new, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I put out another video. That's going to do it, guys, and I will see you in the next episode. This has been Dylan Ron, and I am out.